We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. WCCW World's Tag Team Bannon Van Rust E. The Spider on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 550 pounds, Bannon Van Rust E. And The Spider. Bannon Van Rust and their opponents at a combined weight of 524 pounds they are the tag team Clark Kent and Adam West don't even think about going anywhere And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Oh man, this is gonna be great.
What a strike. Just lost. Knee drop seats. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. He wants no part of the outside, and he's heading back in. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. What a stop! Good grief! Uh -oh. At the oh my goodness, crushing it! Knee drop, seats. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. He's in control. What's he going to do with it? Good golly, what a knee. The challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. If he could just make it to his corner, these guys oh. still have a chance. But if not, I don't see how he can overcome all this punishment and win. Oh, man, his family has to be concerned about him right now. Look out here. Oh, man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. They can't walk after that attack to the back. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. A oh, torturous knee. This could be dangerous. This might be it. Oh, my. This could mean trouble. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. This is not where you want to be. He has something big planned. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end.
It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that I put away in pack. Here we go. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, just some great execution right there. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro. No, it's not over yet. Wow, part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. Nope, reverses it. Oh, man, right across the chest. Elbow drop. The challenger not looking good right now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Nice. Lightning fast reflexes. Von Eric Claw. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, damage to the body. Harsh impact. He's looking at it. Bam, what a slam. Can he do it here? Ooh-wee. A bad place to be for the challenger. This is not at all how the challenger drew this one up. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Close line. What a strike. Right on the mark. The challenger in some big trouble here. He put up a good fight, but it may be the end of the line for the champ. Looking for only glory here. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Oh, that was close. Showing off some of his speed there. And there's his speed paying off. We know what's coming. A uh, big punch. Ouch. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. That's too early for that. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. DDT. Planet. He's making a statement here with this attack. you got to believe this one's over. Up and knee drop, seats. Boom, fist drop. What are the odds that we'll see new tag team champions come out of here tonight? There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, he turns it around. Across the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. He's got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. Wow. Ooh, what impact. Vicious knee. A torturous knee. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, right to the back. I don't remember the last time the champion was up against as stiff a challenge as this one. 
the champ starting to feel the pressure a bit. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health than his... This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, boy, he is rolling! This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh, gut buster! Evisceration. Tagged in. No reverses it. for both. Beautiful technique. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. I remember this part very well. Almost forgot about this one. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners, and still the WCCW World's Tag Team Clark Kent and Adam West. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.